Joshua chapter number one. We Joshua one. I just want to show you something there prophetically. Before I bless you. Can I have Joshua 1? Joshua 1. And Revelation chapter number 5. Verse 20. And you are going to enjoy yourself in the presence of God. Joshua chapter number 1. Joshua 1. Can we have verse number seven, eight? We're going to do seven, eight. Okay, verse number six from Joshua chapter number one. Joshua one, give me six. Be able. He says, "Be strong and be of good courage, for to these people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I saw." your fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Powerful. Let's read in another version. Who has another, uh, another Bible that is different from the one I just read? First God. Wonderful. Verse number six. Be strong and courageous. For you, for you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I saw to their ancestors. I will give them. Number seven. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful. Be careful to obey all the instructions. Moses gave you, do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book, this is wonderful. Or oh, this book of the Lord should not depart from your mouth. This says, study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night. So you will be sure to, do, to obey everything written in it. Only then you shall prosper and succeed in all you do. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. First be to God. Can I have Revelation chapter number 5, Peter Church? Yeah, so I can show you something that is very remarkable. For the first Sunday service in the year 2016. Amen. What's that? Okay. New King James Version. Revelation chapter 5 is the last book in the New Testament. Verse number 1. And I saw in the right hand of whom who sat on the throne a scroll written inside and on the back sealed with the seven seals that I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a louder voice who is worthy to open the scroll and to lose his seven seal and no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll and look what was inside then I wept much because no one was found worthy to open and read the scroll or to look at it. But one of the elders said to me, that's verse number five, do not weep, John, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, he has prevailed to open the scroll and to lose his seventh seal. Chapter number six, verse number one and two, the book of Revelation. 
Now I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seas, I heard one of the four living creatures sing with a louder voice like a thunder, Come and see. Verse number three. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, Come and see. Stop from there and listen to me talking. Sons and daughters of the king. Oh my God, this is, this is something else here. John chapter 1, verse number 1, what does the Bible say? In, there was the word and the word was with God and the word was God himself change this to me very well I'm just proceeding where my pastor has stopped pastor Ephraim the powerful stuff that he was speaking so I'm just continuing from there and, and listen to me, those of you who are visitors are also in this place. We are a little bit flexible here. Before my sugar, I need to be when it comes to the Holy Spirit. God has spoken to me to prophesy to you in person. Why? I will stop what I'm doing. I will see as many people. I'll prophesy to you. If the angel of the Lord says to me, speak to some, something about this person, I will do exactly like one. But I want you to understand that now time is now is a time of preaching and it's a teaching time. This is what you must understand each, each one of you. In the year 2016, when the sons and daughters listen, I will reveal to divine secrets of you the kingdom this is food. that will make you to be a different person altogether. Like, can go, I want you to be a different, a different people that you have never been before. Go, One of the things I want you not to forget is that, is that, is that all things shall pass away. So say, Sabita, but my word, Malanga. as she is God sent, and they will you? never pass away. Sazabita. There is something else you must understand. You do, a life of a human being cannot be strong Sumerime. in the things of God. Sumerime. Man has the word of God. Who says you're talking to me, sir? Brothers, there is Christianity that the word of God is powerless. You are not powerful if you do not, the, do not know the word of God. The word is powerful, powerful people. That is the reason why. That's what she made it. When 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 the snake joker, Satan himself, entered in the garden. And he saw Adam and Eve there. Adam live. When he went to eat it. The first statement that came out of Lucifer, he said, Did God really say that you should not eat this blah blah blah? Did God really say it means God spoke the word? And the devil was afraid not of the Adam and Eve. So I don't leave. He was afraid I didn't with what God said. He said what I will. So listen to me. If God has spoken something about your life, why was you my one? Whether 20 people are ahead of you, you shall overtake them in the process of time. Shall shall be worthy. The way I am, I'm dangerous. Maybe not only because I am a prophet. I am dangerous because of what Jehovah said. And when I look at you, I know you don't know who I am. Because you don't know what God spoke about. But just wait. The mistake that you can do is to come and stay in front of me. Because I will overtake you. There was a word, and there was a word in the beginning. In verse number 14, 14. the same John chapter number 1, the word became flesh, and the word became, the word talked to me, the word, the word became, I can preach today, you may think nothing 
nothing has happened to you. People can look at you, look up and down, and say nothing has happened to you. You are just on verse number 10. When